Okay, I'm just speeding up for my third test. Get it up to speed here. 55 miles an hour. Setting the cruise control. I'm going to lean it out to the more lean uh, mark that we talked about earlier. And we'll reset the settings on our ski and gauge 2 at the mark here. Okay, so we got another uh, 4.1 miles to go to conclude the third test. By the way, I think I misspoke earlier um, about uh, the, the differences in the first two tests. The first test uh, was 31.0 miles per gallon. <clears throat> that was with the uh, adapter or adjuster turned off and my hydrogen turned off. Uh, the second test uh, was 37 uh, miles per gallon. That's a 6 mile per gallon improvement by moving the adjuster to this mark uh, with the hydrogen turned on. This is the third test. Um, you can see where the knob is. Hydrogen is still turned on. And uh, we'll see in about uh, three miles here uh, what our results are. In the meantime, uh, I might just mention some uh, things. There's been questions about uh, the different types of adapters. Some have one knob, some have two knobs, some have a, uh, one switch, some have two switches. Uh, what's that all about? What do I need? Uh, what difference does it make? Well, um, the additional switches and knobs are strictly for your convenience. Uh, like, for instance, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's a good idea to, when you start your car, have it turned off. To have a off-on switch with this, uh, it would be quite handy for that. Uh, that way I don't have to be turning the knob back and forth or remembering exactly where I want that set. So that's a, a good reason for the on-off switch. Another reason for the on-off switch is that uh, there may be uh, some reason that you have your hydrogen turned off. Maybe you've got it out of the vehicle servicing it or whatever. I don't know. That would be another reason if you're not running hydrogen, you probably don't want to run the, the adjuster either. Although, I might be tempted to run it at a, a low level for this particular vehicle because I think they've got the computer set to run it too rich, richer than it needs to be anyway. Um, the reason for uh, two knobs is that uh, you may want to have uh, the adapter set different for city driving than you do for highway driving. Um, uh, when it has two knobs, it's going to have at least one switch on the device as well to switch between which of the two knobs is active. Uh, that's uh, kind of a handy feature. And it may also be combined with an on-off switch as well. I'm currently selling three units. This is uh, my least expensive one with just the one knob. If you search on eBay for MAP, that's M-A-P space N, as in Nancy, one. MAP space N1. If you search for that on eBay, you'll find these devices. Uh, the other one that I'm selling looks just like this, except, uh, well, it's a little bit different, but it has a one knob and one on-off switch. Uh, you can find that on eBay by searching for map space in two. And my third one has two knobs, one for sitting, one for highway, with a switch to switch between them. And uh, you can find that by searching for map in four. Well, we're coming up on our finish mark uh, in just a quarter of a mile or so of this final test of the three-part test. Uh, we're about to see our results. Right here. 
43.4 miles per gallon. So there you have it, 43.4 for the final test with it at this position, 37.0 miles per gallon when it's at this position. Uh, both of those tests with the hydrogen on, with the hydrogen off, and this unit turned off at this position. It, the base uh, mileage was 31 miles per gallon. The distance of this test was 4.1 miles, each of the tests. The uh, miles per hour, I had my uh, cruise control set at 55 miles per hour. I did not have to slow down or speed up on any of the three tests. Um, the road uh, is fairly uh, flat, maybe with a slight downhill, but no real hills. Uh, so. I think it's a pretty accurate test for comparison purposes. Now, if you have a, uh, a Sienna, a Toyota Sienna, as this vehicle is, don't expect to get that kind of mileage at the pump when you figure your mileage, because this was uh, run under ideal conditions. Um, the, to give you an idea, the, the 31 miles to the gallon for the base, I've never gotten that good on a trip on the highway. The best I've gotten is about 25. So that gives you a little comparison. Um, so, but the percentages are interesting. Uh, from 31 miles to the gallon to 37 miles to the gallon to 43.4 uh, miles to the gallon. That's uh, what is that? About a 50% improvement. To half of 31 is 15 and a half plus 31 would be 46 and a half, so not quite, not quite a 50% improvement, somewhere between 45 and 50%. So there you have it.